Hey guys, it's Natalie. It is Must Have Monday and we are talking about oils for the pesky pests. Now I went to a gardening with oils class on Saturday with my great friend and upline Manita Lakatos. And I am not a gardener at all. I don't like to garden. I like the fruits of the labor, but I don't like the labor part. Um, but I always love to learn. And so I went and I'm glad I did because I did learn a lot. And so I wanted to share with you nine interesting ways that you could use oils in your garden. And of course the first one is an insect repellent. Um, what I thought was really cool is rosemary oil is a great repellent for many types of pesky insects, including flies, fleas and mosqui mosquitoes mosquitoes it is great for deterring for deterring insect larvae like the cabbage looper caterpillar which i have no idea what that is but apparently it has a great appetite for your vegetable foliage and then the other oil that was in a lot of the recipes was peppermint oil and peppermint oil is an excellent natural insecticide which works on aphids squash bugs white flies, ants, beetles, and fleas, just to name a few. And a great thing is, is that peppermint is also supposed to be great for repelling spiders. Um, thyme oil also works against biting insects, such as jiggers, flea, uh, ticks, and roaches. I didn't know roaches bit. Oh, I didn't like that. And then clove oil is another great deterrent for many flying insects. And if you don't have clove oil, you probably have thieves, which thieves has clove in it. Uh, but to create a broad spe spectrum, all natural insect repellent, you mix equal parts of rosemary, peppermint, thyme, and clove oil, about 10, 10 drops each, into a spray bottle and fill it with water. And remember, you always shake it um, before you use it because the oil and the water don't mix very well, and so you want to shake it before you use it. Uh, so number two, it can oils can help to suppress fungus. Uh, it says the cause of around 85% of all plant disease is fungus and melaleuca A um, is a great natural remedy that can help with fungal growth. I did not know that but it also said to be careful when you use it um, especially out in the sun or plants that are out in the sun because it can burn the leaves. Um, and another great tip that we learned from our cross line Ruth on Saturday was that when you add a natural soap like either your thieves or castile soap to your mixtures and you spray it on your plants it helps to keep the oil on your plants longer which i did not know that um, that was a great tip um, number three you can use oils to stop slugs and snails and cedarwood hyssop and pine are the best essential oils for keeping gastropods which i guess are snails <laughs> and slugs um, off of your plants if you mix about a teaspoon of your choice of oil in a spray bottle, fill it with water, shake it, and spray it around your plants. You can also apply diluted oil in a ring and place it around your plants where the slugs and snails like to visit. Number four, you can discourage vermin. Mice and other rodents are repulsed, apparently, by the clean, fresh scent of peppermint. If you douse, douse cotton balls with one to two drops of peppermint oil and place them in the entrance of burrows or holes that you know uh, where your rodents are, it's supposed to help deter them. Number five, dissuade pests. Pets, not pests, sorry. Dissuade pets. You know that cats hate the smell of rosemary. Uh, rosemary oil, if you dilute it and spray it on your plants or in the mulch, um, it's supposed to help to keep the to keep the pets away. And Manita was also sharing if you soak a cloth or a wool string in um, oil and water and let it soak in there so that the oil gets in there you can hang it from your plants hang it on planters and in between the rows of your garden and that's supposed to also help to deter your pets and pests from getting inside your garden number six you can help it for bites and stings to support that um, you mix two drops of lavender two drops of chamomile and two and one drop of basil with one teaspoon of organic uh, organic apple cider vinegar and you apply this to your bee, your bites and strings with cotton ball, with a cotton ball or a pad. Uh, you can also substitute the jojoba oil for the, the apple cider vinegar, and that is a great skin support. Number seven, um, not only do they repel insects, but they also attract pollinators. Uh, you can use certain fragrant oils to attract natural pollinators to your garden. The scent of neroli, which is or orange blossom, is an irresistible attractant for bees, as are the essential oils of many small blossom flowers, such as lavender, hyssop, marjoram, helichrysum, basil, sage, and rosemary. Again, rosemary. Also, lavender 
fennel, helichrysum, and sage essential oils attract more butterflies to your garden. So if you need butterflies, that's a great attractor. Um, number eight, of course, you can enhance the mood in your garden. If you had a long day and you want to set out in your beautiful garden, use some oils, diffuse them, make a, a spray of ylang ylang, stress away, um, anything like that, and spray it in your garden and enjoy your garden. Number nine, make your own insect repellent, which I thought this was great. Um, I think it's great to put it in a little bottle so you can keep it with you when you go on play dates, to the playground, to the beach, to baseball games, um, anything like that. Keep it with you in the car and just spray it. And I think this is great for um, the natural insect repellent. And it says, you'll need a small glass spray bottle and fill it with about two ounces of water and one ounce of organic witch hazel. And again, you can substitute um, the witch hazel for the jojoba, which I did not know this, that jojoba oil is a natural insect repellent. Um, so you do about 10 drops of jojoba oil and um, then you pick your oils. And there's three different categories and I'll put the recipe below. Um, but there's three different recipes and you're going to pick um, one or two from each section and they say the big hitters which you're going to choose one or two and those are citronella, lemongrass or eucalyptus which are all great, peppermint of course and then garlic oil which I did not know that. So you're going to put one or two of those in your bottle and then you're going to pick one or two of these which is clove, lavender or melaleuca which are great. Um, pine oil also works against fleas and ticks and rosemary of course. And then you're going to pick one or two of the, this third category, and these are cedarwood, which has a great piney fragrance, sandalwood, um, which is not a great mosquito pellet repellent, but um, it does have a great scent, and then patchouli, which deters bed bugs, ants, fleas, and lice in addition to mosquitoes. Um, I love the smell of patchouli. And then that's all there is to it. You're just gonna mix all of the, the ones that you choose, shake it up every time you use it, give it a good spray on your kids, on you, on your pets, in your car, around your house, and uh, keep those insects at bay. So I hope this information helped you guys. Um, be sure to Google for your own recipes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Um, I would love to hear some of your tried and true recipes for keeping your insects at bay or ways that you've used them in the garden. Keep living the oil life and I'll see you guys later. Bye.